Coming up on Hands On Tech, let's take a look at how we can deduplicate photos on macOS. Stay tuned. This, this is, is Twit. Twit. Hello and welcome to Hands On Tech. This is the show where you write in with your tech questions and I, Micah Sargent, answer them. Our question this week comes in from Ryan, who needs some help with deduping photos on macOS. Ryan writes, I'm in the process of cleaning up my Mac photo library. Photos has found almost 15,000 duplicate photos. It takes three clicks per photo to merge them. That will require a lot of clicks. I'm wondering if you could recommend an automated deduping app. I see there are a lot out there, but would prefer to get a recommendation from someone who has actually used the app before. I don't mind paying for a great app, but free is a very good price. I'm sure you have probably covered this topic before. If so, could you point me to the show or episode? Thank you. Ryan, we've mentioned different options over the course of time, but I think the best way to answer your question is right here on this show. Uh, definitely that manual process would be grueling of going through and trying to dedupe all of those photos. There are some options out there. And I want to start with uh, some paid options. The first one I want to mention is an app called PhotoSweeper X. Uh, PhotoSweeper works directly with your photos library, so it can sort of pull that in and look for duplicate photos. And it, of course, has some smart detection features built in. So what it'll do on top of just looking at, oh, this has the same file name, it's going to look at the photos and see uh, the metadata and also compare the photos themselves to look for duplicates. You can preview everything before deleting, and there are loads of different matching criteria that you can set up, so you can decide, okay, no, this is not what I want when it comes to trying to uh, get the duplicates, or yes, I want to do this when I'm trying to get the duplicates. And it does have some built-in safety features to make sure that you don't delete photos that you don't intend to. Photo Sweeper is available in the Mac App Store uh, for $14.99, so you can pick it up from there and that would help uh, you with being able to make those changes. Now, there's another option, and it's the one that we have talked a lot about on different shows, uh, and that is because the folks at MacPaul make great software. It's called Gemini 2, and it is called the Gemini 2, the Duplicate Finder. Uh, it's available for $20. It's actually available to download for free. You give it a go, and then the uh, it's, it's $20 a year. But with Gemini it goes past just being a photo duplicate finder. It is the all-in-one duplicate finder. So it will find files. It will find all sorts of stuff that, that you may have duplicates of. And it does a really good job of the non-obvious duplicate detection. So if you have photos that are very similar, perhaps you took you know six photos at a time and five of them are blurry, one of them is good, it can help you find those as well. And you can basically say, I trust you to do your job, and then it will get rid of those duplicates without you having to go through and click, 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 click. It has uh, some visual comparison tools built in so that you can do that as well. And uh, it's, again, it's been one that I've used for so long as a dedupe uh, system, again, across my entire Mac, not just photos, but also files. Sometimes I'll uh, throw it at my network attached storage and find times where I just had dragged something over two or three times, not realizing that, you know, I've got multiple copies of it. It's fantastic. It also has a feature where you can start looking for duplicates. And then if you need to pause for whatever reason, it can kind of pick back up where it left off as opposed to needing to completely restart, which is great. And for you with 15,000 duplicates in your photo library, I have to imagine that you've got quite the system or rather quite the, the large file size in place. So being able to look through that photo library and if you need to, you know, kind of get back some of your performance momentarily. Being able to do that is great. Now, there's also a free and open source tool that you can use. I've made use of it a couple of times. I have also suggested it to people who were a little bit um, price sensitive. 
and it works well. It's a little bit more technical. So you're going to kind of need to read through the instructions and make sure that you understand what you're doing with it. Um, but it's very, very powerful. Dupe Guru is the name of the application. Again, free and open source. It can work with the photos library. It can work with other photo library. Basically, you can decide you know, what you want to use it with. And it has a bunch of different matching algorithms built in to help you find what you are looking for, specifically when you're looking for those duplicates. So while the other two programs cost, you may get to your final destination or your final you know, desire faster because you aren't needing to do the, the, the process of understanding how to use the application. It's kind of it's very easy to follow through the process and get done what you need to get done. Whereas with Dupe Guru, you are going to, you probably have a little bit of a learning curve. So it kind of depends on what you feel your time is worth in those situations. But perhaps you start with Dupe Guru. And then if you decide to take the plunge, uh, go for Photo Sweeper or Gemini 2. I think they're both great uh, options. And then of course, Dupe Guru as the free option, also great. It's just all depending on what your preferences are and what you feel you're able to get out of it when it comes to duplicate finding. Because if you're just trying to find literal duplicates of a file, in this case, a photo, then some of these tools are going to make that happen a lot easier. But if you're also kind of trying to clear out photos that you don't need anymore because you took six photos in a row, then that's where you're going to need a more powerful tool uh, rather than the free one. Now, regardless of which app you choose, I just want to remind you, uh, dear Ryan, please, please do a complete backup of your photos library first. If you're using Time Machine, that's a great way to start, but also clone that to an external drive if you can. 15,000 photos or more and probably more if those are just the duplicates, then you really, 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 really want to make sure that you've got all of those photos backed up, all those memories backed up somewhere else before you throw a program at it that's going to start deleting everything. You really want to uh, protect that. So that's my suggestion for you, Ryan. Uh, and thank you for your question. This is something that you know a lot of people deal with trying to figure out how to cut down on their photos library. I want to mention for people who uh, aren't familiar with that, as Ryan said, there is the built-in duplication finding tool where you simply ask photos to look for duplicates in your photos library. Now, as uh, Ryan pointed out, it can be kind of bothersome when you are trying to find those duplicates <laughs> uh, or rather trying to select those duplicates and have them, you know, properly appear uh, for, for deletion. And so, you know, be mindful of that as you're going through that maybe for you, the tool is not the built in, um, the built-in duplicate finder, but instead is something more powerful like one of these tools. To access duplicates in your photos library, you launch the photos app and underneath the uh, collections option, there's, a, there's a, an album essentially called utilities. And within utilities is an option called duplicates. And that will allow you to... Uh, do those duplicates. Now, you can always, if you want to, Ryan, go into that duplicates section, hold down command and press A to select all of the duplicates, and then simply choose to merge them, which will let you merge all of the items into one. Not, not all of the items into one, but each of the duplicate each of the instances of the duplicates being found will be merged into one. Um, interesting that I have precisely 666 duplicates. Um, I don't know what that set, what that means, but 
That is the number of duplicates I have in my photos library. Spooky. Uh, but yes, you can, if, if you feel like you can trust the system to do the, uh, to do the, the duplicate finding for you, then this is a way to uh, cut down on those duplicates uh, by selecting them all at once. Should I hit merge? Oh, merge 318 exact copies only. We did it. And we'll see what the, oh, it's going to take 94 hours <laughs> to, to merge all of my duplicates. Um, I'm left with 348 that are nearly exact copies, but uh, some of them are smaller size. So Ryan, there's the answer to your question. Uh, of course, as always, I recommend write in with what you end up doing. We love to hear that. If you decided to go with Photo Sweeper and you think it's fantastic and it worked perfectly for you, always love to hear that. Hey, I would love, love, love if you joined us in a special place. The special place is Club Twit. Twit.tv slash Club Twit is where you go to sign up. When you join our club, we've got monthly and yearly plans available to you. Again, at that special link, twit.tv slash Club Twit. Uh, you can join for $10 per month or $120 per, per year. And when you do, you get a lot of great stuff. You get every single one of our shows, including this one, ad-free. It's just the content none of the ads. In fact, you get your special uh, little, these, these feeds are, are unique to you. They say your name in them even. And so when you go and you get these free or these, these feeds that are ad free, um, you are able to, you know, get them right there in your podcast player as soon as they're available. You also gain access to our members only video feeds. Uh, so that means our club Twitch shows like hands on Apple, the other show that I do hands on tech, which is this show, Hands on Windows, Home Theater Geeks, iOS Today, This Week in Space, and the Untitled Linux Show, plus access to our Twit Plus bonus feeds, which include behind-the-scenes stuff, uh, my Crafting Corner, Stacy's Book Club, the AI User Group, and access to the members-only Discord server, which is a fun place to go to chat with your fellow Club Twit members and also those of us here at Twit. Uh, lots of conversation today in the Club Twit Discord, which we love. And I'm going to be running a D&D campaign, or an adventure, I shouldn't say campaign, a, an adventure soon for... Uh, with, with, with contributors and hosts for our club members. So if you like Dungeons and Dragons, you got to join the club. It would be great to have you there. And by the way, it does start with a 14-day free trial. So you can check it out, see if it's for you. I think you'll end up sticking around. Twit.tv slash club twit. That's how you get into the club. And I am looking forward to saying hello to you there. Uh, H-O-T at twit.tv is how you get in touch with me. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Hands on Tech. I'll be back again next week with another question answered. Bye-bye. The tech world moves fast and you need to keep up for your business, for your life. The best way to do that, twit.tv. On This Week in Tech, I bring together tech's best and brightest minds to help you understand what just happened and prepare for what's happening next. It's your first podcast of the week and the last word in tech. Cybersecurity experts know they can't miss a minute of security now. Every week with Steve Gibson. What you don't know could really hurt your business. But there's nothing Steve Gibson doesn't know. Tune in Security Now every Wednesday. Every Thursday, industry expert Micah Sargent brings you interviews with tech journalists who make or break the top stories of the week on Tech News Weekly. And if you use Apple products, you won't want to miss the premier Apple podcast. Now in its 20th year, Mac Break Weekly. Then there's Paul Therott and Richard Campbell. They are the best connected journalists covering Microsoft. And every week they bring you their insight and wit on Windows Weekly. Build your tech intelligence week after week with the best in the business. Your seat at tech's most entertaining and informative table is waiting at twit.tv. Subscribe now.